I want to tell you, uh, share of the world today, the Passover bread that Jesus Christ shared with the disciples before he died. Passover night. I want to tell you, the very hot and the cold Christianity is uh, wrapped up uh, in the symbols of the bread and the wine that Jesus shared at the Passover night. Before he, his death, uh, I want to explain just a little bit. Can I tell you the Passover? Passover, you know, the feast of Passover is all right. The Passover commemorates. Israel's people, uh, yeah, they escaped from the slave of Egypt 430 years uh, after uh, uh, their door frames were painted by the blood of the Lamb blood of the lamb. So that their fourth son was spared from the death by the power of God. They were delivered from the death of the angel. They were delivered all Israel people who had been slave long long time by the power of the evil king God has heard their pr prayer cry out to the Lord. Moses, Moses, God lift up the leader of Israel right to who going to lead the people of Israel people from the slave to Egypt. Ah, uh, this event foreshadowed and Jesus walk which is death on the cross and as the spotless lamb of God his blood uh, precious blood we are saved from his blood, you and me. Are you? Are you listening, my brother and sister? God loves you. God loves you. Look at the blood of Jesus Christ. Think of blood of Jesus Christ. I'm talking to you. Listen closely. His blood would to be spilled in order to save his people who were slaves, suffering under the power. From the penalty of death. Now, yeah, that, that is uh, talking the children of 
the God. You and me, all Christian. We deserve to die because of our sins. But Jesus Christ shed blood for us on the cross. Let me tell you, <clears throat> this uh, it, uh, bread and wine of the, the communion, the meaning of the come. The, 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 the commensuration of the Lord's Supper. Lord's Supper. Then I want to tell you something. There are three meaning we can use as a Christian. First, the bread and one actually become Christ's body and blood. You know, this Lord's Supper we are doing as a ceremony of a commemoration of the Lord's Supper. That some church is uh, doing one time, one month, other church is uh, one time in the year, something like that. Okay, secondly, the bread and the wine. Bread and the wine remains unchanged. Yet Christ is spiritually present by facing and through them. Thirdly, the, bra the blood and the wine just Christ, which remain unchanged, a lasting memorial of Christ's sacrifice. We see it's like the three view. So, okay, no matter what which we favor, all Christian agree that the Lord's Supper commemorates Christ's death. Yes, that is Christ's death on the cross for our senior sins. And uh, now I want to tell you more. The, this point this commemoration, Lord's Supper. We have to think about to the coming of His kingdom glory in the future. When we partake of this ceremony, we show and the deep gratitude for Christ's death for us and we believe our faith is strength whenever we think about the Christ's blood seeing in the wine and the Christ passion seeing that the bread symbol of Christ the body Jesus asked them the disciple to eat 
broken bread and the remembrance of me he wants them to remember he is a sacrifice the basis for the forgiveness of our sins and uh, also friendship think about friendship relationship with the God when you doing this ceremony wine and the bread symbol of Jesus Christ the blood and the body that you think about the relationship with God that they could continue to enjoy through the work of the Holy Spirit hallelujah mm. oh you know my brother sister can I tell you more the blood of Jesus Christ his spirit for your sin is there anybody who the thinking the blood of Jesus Christ and his body and uh, somebody my thought to remember the scripture that Isaiah 53 chapter 5 well known passage the passion of Jesus Christ He was pierced for our transgression. He was crushed for our iniquity. Chastisement that brought peace for us was upon to him. Look at that cross oh the blood falling down on the ground by his wounding we are healed oh we are healed by the powerful Jesus Christ blood of Jesus Christ healed us he died Oh, look at the think about remember remember the pain of Jesus Christ that he suffered pain pain sharp pain tremendous pain we never ever imagined that Jesus Christ shame. We cannot imagine. Pain. If you cannot think about, if you cannot imagine, I'm gonna give you an idea. Take the needle, pick the, your thing, finger. How do you feel? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Pain, pain. Suffering is not easy. Oh, I know. I have been suffering in my body. I know my pain. Whenever I feel I'm sick, I used to thought about the Jesus Christ. 
えあの、it's, it's difficult to face and endure this pain. I know. And hurt. I'm feeling. The symbolism of breaking the bread. At the Passover, represented Jesus Christ's suffering. He suffered humiliation, mocking, beating, torture, and excruciating execution. Excruciating execution, which were represented by the breaking of bread at the Passover with each disciple. Ah, oh. fourth Corinthians. 11 chapter 44 take it take it this is my body which is broken to you broken for you do this in remembrance of me take this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this remember whenever you drink it. Hmm. Ah. You know, I want to tell you what Jesus Christ said. <coughs> Jesus Christ said, Do this remember whenever you drink and when you eat this bread. Why? What to Jesus have said and asked for us? How do we remember Christ in the Lord's Supper? Let's think about that. what he did, why he did it. Furthermore, the remembering has uh, I want to tell you remembering the, this ceremony Lord's Supper communion remembering as uh, back word and forward we can look at that. and we can figure out and the backward past time and the future time when we think about this institution Jesus Christ order us to the Church. So here is a profound meaning of this ceremony. I want to give it to you. We remember Christ's death. Yes. We can remember deep Christ's death. 
we can keep in mind Christ's death who died for us with tremendous pain. He fell. And we also remember that He is coming as Jesus Christ promised us. If the Lord suffer became just a, a, like, like a ritual ceremony or a pious habit, pious habit we, we might used to do. It loses. It will be loosed. It's a significant meaning that Jesus Christ asked us. But when we appreciate that Christ has done and anticipate what he will do when he returns, Lord Sapo takes a profound sense of a purpose. We can receive the big grace through the, this Lord Sap that we have to remember the Christ's blood and the body that he died for our sins. We are saved. Oh, eating the bread and breaking the, the bread and the drinking the cup shows that we are remembering I want to tell you over and over Christ death Christ death and renewing our commitment to to serve to Jesus Christ. Hmm? I, I, I with me. That is a significance of this commemoration of the Lord's Supper. We feel we can call to Jesus Christ whenever we take Lord's Supper. We can, we can consider and deeply mind it comes in our heart that he died for us. Ah, I know his pain. So I want to Coach, I want to really to serve Jesus Christ as my to the life to the life until I die I will serve we can keep in mind this bow and our face will be strength when we look at the blood of Jesus Christ on the cross. God requires of us to become a disciple to Christ. We must be prepared for the suffering mm -hmm. that will come 
with that including some suffering common to man. Yes. You know, we live in the world of horrendous uh, injustice, evil, and pain. Hmm? You know, look at the people. A lot of people are suffering from health problem. Yeah. I know. I, I've been suffering by sickness, heart problem. My wife is cancer. I'm doing serve and take care of my wife. I pray with my tear every night. I think about the Lord's suffering on the cross. Whenever I pray, <clears throat> oh, I'm thankful to the Lord because I still live, I still preach to you today. So I'm thankful to the, grateful to the Lord. Oh, thank you. Give glory, hallelujah. Oh, is there anybody who suffering and sick? But still stand up, pray the Lord. I believe you. They are watching. They pray the Lord. Listening this my message. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hmm? All right. You know that some people got addiction in in the relationship. The bad the relationship with the, the, the family, others the people, children, a lot of many, many problems and got, people got in, they couldn't solve themselves, they couldn't resolve this problem, they are doing, what's going on, what to do, what I, what I have to do, yeah, this is, this is the world, they are suffering with the pain, all right, here is a, it's my question. How can a Christian deal with the death? We have to learn to suffer with the Christ. We have to learn with the suffer with the Christ. To learn from the suffering aspect of the being a Christian. This is good ends about the, 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 the question they are asking how can we resolve my problem I'm suffering got the pain this is a good solution I am I'm telling now suffering with Christ the answer to why we experience the suffering lies in the suffering of the Jesus Christ pictured by the broken bread. He gave himself to us seeking, you know. He gave us seeking closeness, presence, togetherness, and the relationship. Hmm? He came to experience. Listen, my brother and sister, can I, can I, can, can I tell you more deeply? I, I'm going to approach my conclusion. Listen, please listen to me. He came to experience our pain. He came into our suffering now. In his last instruction to his disciple, you know what he said, on that final pass overnight with them. 
Christ encouraged with them. This word. So I want to give you. We can be encouraged having this word. Last word Jesus Christ said, decides, oh, I love this word. This is medication. This is a real, real, it's a strong word we can lift up, we can deliver from the, our pain, and uh, every problem we got, if you keep in this world, hallelujah, pray the Lord, oh, I'm thanked. Uh, can I, can I tell you? Can I, can I speak to you this word? Just the Holy Spirit touch me, oh, thank you, this word, I will keep this word in myself, and I want to share with the, to this word, Holy Spirit, gave this word John 16 33 listen listen my my friend your pain your your problem you got you are you are suffering now will be resolved, it will be gone, bye-bye. If you hold this word, I confidently speaking to you. Oh, listen. The Jesus Christ, this thing I have spoken to you, hmm? that in me, in me, you may have peace, yes. Hmm? Holy Spirit in you, Jesus can in you. You feel the peace, keep the this peace. In the world you will have a tribulation. Yeah. Because this world belongs to the devil. You will have a tribulation. But be of good cheer. Be of good, be strong in me. I have overcome the world. Oh, thank you. I have overcome the world. Be strong, be courageous. I have overcome the world because you still have peace in your mind. You can overcome this world and you got the victory, you pray the Lord as long as the, the keep this world, this instruction I gave to you. Oh, my brother and sister, uh, isn't that so strong word? Thank you. Can I tell you more? Lastly, oh, my time is up. I don't listen. Always. Always, I'm telling you over and over again, keep in this world because the Holy Spirit is in you and lead you and you are victor. You are not victim because Jesus Christ overcome this world because his blood Covered all over you, wherever you go, whatever you do. Thank you, Lord. Pray the oh God to see you next time. Bye bye. Hallelujah. Bye bye. Hallelujah. Amen.